Hello students, welcome to the lecture series of fluid mechanics. Myself, Professor Dhruv Patel. In our last lecture, we have learned about continuity equation for three-dimensional flow. In today's lecture, we will learn about velocity and acceleration of the fluid particle as well as velocity potential function and stream function. Clear? So first of all, let us take basic concept about velocity. So here we all know that velocity is a vector function. Clear? So it is depend it depends on direction as well as its value also right so here always velocity is depends on x y z parameter and time so here x direction velocity u y direction velocity v and z direction velocity component will be w right so suppose velocity will be u v and w then we can write velocity as v is equal to u into i plus v into j vector plus w into k vector if we want to find resultant velocity then we can write under root of u square plus v square plus w square clear students so this is for the velocity point of view now let us understand acceleration so acceleration is also a vector quantity which depends on x y z and time so here acceleration is depends on x y z three direction and time also in the previous lecture we understood that if the any parameter depends on more than one parameter it can be represented by partial differentiation clear so here we have to differentiate acceleration by partial differentiation so first of all acceleration in the x direction that will be du by dt derivation of velocity in the x direction with respect to time clear but it depends on x y z as well as time also so we have to take partial differentiation so first of all let us concentrate on this parameter square box so this is del u by del x that means partial differentiation with respect to x direction into fully differentiation with respect to x direction that means first of all we have to write del u by del x into dx by dt similar way in the y direction del u by del y and dy by dt similar way for the z direction del u by del z and dz by dt for the time also del u by del t and dt by dt but this will got cancelled so it will become one right so our final equation will be acceleration in the x direction that means del u by del x dx by dt del u by del y dy by dt del u by del z dz by dt and del u by del t clear students after that from this equation we already know about it dx by dt that means differentiation of displacement with respect to time that is known as velocity in the x direction that means velocity in the x direction that is u dy by dt that means velocity in the y direction v and dz by dt that means velocity in the z direction w clear so let us put value of all these three parameter in our main equation so acceleration in the x direction will be u into del u by del x plus v into del u by del y plus w into del u by del z plus del u by del t clear students so here for the x direction acceleration you have to differentiate u with respect to x y z and time also right similar way we can derive equation for the x y and z direction so for the x direction we have derived ax is equal to u del u by del x v del u by del y and w del u by del z plus del u by del t so for the y direction it will become a y is equal to mainly dv by dt that means velocity of y direction respect to time clear that means here we have to derive u instead of del u we can write del v because it is in y direction so u del v by del x plus v del v by del y plus w del v by del z and plus del v by del time similar way in the z direction we have to write a z is equal to u del w by del x plus v del w by del y plus w del w by del z and plus del w by del t clear so for any direction we have to derive component of that direction with respect to x y z and time also right so here we have value of ax ay 
in AZ. If we want to find result and acceleration, then it will become result and acceleration is A is equal to under root of AX square plus AY square plus AZ square. So that is for the velocity and acceleration of the fluid particle. Before that example, let us understand what do you mean by local acceleration and what do you mean by convective acceleration. So in that equation of acceleration, clear here we have to remember AX is equal to this equation. In that equation, derivation with respect to time that is known as local acceleration and other parameters that means 1, 2 and these 3, all these others parameter is defined as convective acceleration, clear? Here you have to remember in the gate or any type of examination they have asked this also, right? You have to simply remember derivation with respect to time that is known as local acceleration and other derivations x, y and z that is known as convective derivations, clear? Remember this. So let us solve one example. The velocity vector of the fluid flow is given by v is equal to 4x cube i vector minus 10x square y j vector plus 2t k vector. That means here this is x direction, this is y direction and this is z direction. Find the velocity and acceleration of the fluid particle at this point 2, 1 and 3 at particular time t is equal to 1, clear? So here first of all let us understand what do you mean by this vector system. So with i that is known as x direction velocity. So from the velocity equation 4x cube is with the i vector. So 4x cube is known as x direction velocity u. Similar way minus 10 x square y that will become y direction velocity v and 2t that will become z direction velocity w. Clear? Here we have to find velocity and acceleration at point 2, 1, 3 and that means x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 3 in coordinate system and time is equal to 1, right? So let us solve velocity value first of all. So here at the point 2, 1 and 3. So u is equal to 4x cube. So let us put x is equal to 2 for the our point 2, 1 and 3. So u will become 4 into 2 cube that means 32 units. Instead of units, we can also mention velocity in meter per second. Clear students? So next one, v is equal to minus 10x square y. So if you put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 in this equation, it will become minus 40. Similar way, w is equal to 2 into t, that means 2 into 1, so 2 unit. This is x direction, this is y direction and this is z direction velocity. Now let us find resultant velocity. So resultant velocity or we can find velocity vector that means x direction velocity into i vector plus y direction velocity into j vector and plus z direction velocity into k vector. After that we can find resultant velocity under root of u square plus v square plus w square. So by the putting value of u, v and w we can get 51.26 as a resultant velocity. Clear? Now let us find acceleration. For the acceleration, remember students, you have to differentiate all the velocity parameters with respect to x, y, z and time. So let us take first of all u, x direction velocity, right? So u will be this 4x cube. So let us find derivation of u with respect to x, y, z and time. So here u is equal to 4x cube. So let us take del u by del x. So derivation of this with respect to x that means 12x square. Next one is u is equal to 4x cube. So derivation of u with respect to y direction. So here there is no y. So derivation of u with respect to y direction will be 0. Clear? Next one is du by dz. So here no z. So derivation of u with respect to z is 0. And here no time. So obviously du by dt is also 0. Right? Let us take or let us repeat similar formula or similar method for the y direction. For the y direction, v is equal to minus 10x square y. Right? So let us take dv by dx first. So instead of dv by dx, we can write minus 20 into x y. dv by dy, that means minus 10x square. dv by dz, here there is no z, so that will be 0. And here there is no t, so dv by dt will become 
zero. Clear, students? Similar way, we have to find for W also. So here, from the equation, W will be two t. So let us find all the derivations for W. So dW by dx that will be zero with respect to y and z that will be also zero because here not x, y and z are there. Here del W by del t that will become two. Clear? You already aware about the differentiation formula, so I did not repeat it. Clear? So remember this. So here for the accuracy and speed purpose, we have to make this bracket or this table first of all. In that table, we have to differentiate all the component u, v, and w with respect to x, y, z, and t. Clear? Now let us put a x equation. So a x will be u del u by del x plus v del u by del y plus w del u by del z plus del u by del t. Here we have value of u from the above equation. U is equal to 4x cube and del u by del x that means 12x square. So that will be 12x square. Plus v is equal to minus 10x square y. Here it is. V is equal to minus 10x square y and del v by del y. So del u by del y is equal to zero. So it will become zero. So if we put all the values from the table, it will become 48x raised to five. So if you put x value from the upper point to one three, that will become x is equal to two. So 48 into 32. So that means 1536 unit is acceleration in the x direction. Similar way, if we put equation of acceleration in the y direction, that is this. Now we have value of u, v, and w also, and we have value of del v by del x, del v by del y, and del v by del z also from this table, right? If you put all the data here, it will become acceleration of y is equal to Minus 80 x raised to 4 y plus 100 x raised to 4 y. If you put value of x and y from our point, then it will become 320 units. Dear students, similar way we can find a z. We have already find out value of del w by del x, del w by del y, del w by del z, and del w by del t in our earlier table. U, v, and w is also given in the given. Data so a z will become two units. Now we have value of a x, a y, and a z. Then resultant acceleration can be represented at a x into i vector, a y into j vector, and a z into k vector. Clear? And resultant acceleration value that will become under root of a x square plus under root of a y square plus a z square. That is one five six eight point nine units. Clear, students. So this is simple example regarding velocity and acceleration of the fluid particle. So let us revise our example again. In the gate examination or in any PSU examination, this example will be surely asked by the any examiner, right? You have to find first of all u, v, and w from the given data, and you have to remember two, one, three is our point where we have to find velocity and acceleration at time is equal to one. First, we have to solve this example for the velocity. That means u, v, and w. We have to put value of x, y, and z in u, v, and w. So we will get 32 minus 40 and 2. That means value of x, y, and z direction velocity. After that, we can represent velocity in the vector form also by u into i vector, v into j vector plus j z into k vector. After that, we can find resultant by this equation under root of u square plus v square plus w square. Clear? Yeah? So here it is velocity point of view. For the point of view of acceleration, we have to first of all find derivation of u with respect to x, y, z, and w. Then derivation of v with respect to x, y, z, w, and t. And derivation of w with respect to x, y, z, and time respectively. After that, we have to simply put equation of x. A y and a z. From the equations, we will get value of a x, a y, and a z. After the putting this value, we can represent acceleration in the vector form also. Similar way, we have put in velocity. Clear? And at the last, we can find resultant acceleration by acceleration is equal to under root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square. That will give acceleration in all point two, one, and three. 
at time t is equal to 1 second clear student so revise this example so for the today's point of view that is it and thank you for watching my lecture